Turks continue to fill the streets of Ankara and other major cities with leaders urging them to resist any further possible moves to topple the government. Thousands are responding in a huge show of people power, which began against Friday night's coup attempt. Meanwhile, the crackdown on the army and judiciary is intensifying. On Sunday night, Turkey's Prime Minister Bin Ali Yildirim led the rallying cry. During the day, he said, we will go to our jobs, we will do our work because life goes on. But when the evening comes after leaving our jobs, we're going to continue this vigil. Until we finish them all, until we root them out, we will have no sleep. With the government claiming to be in full control, an estimated 6,000 people have been arrested in the last 48 hours. Suspected plotters are taken away to calls for the death penalty, which Turkey outlawed in 2004. Among those detained is the former Air Force chief Akin Ozturk, who's been accused of being one of the main orchestrators of the coup. Sunday also saw the first of the funerals for some of the 290 people killed in the violence. The victims include President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's campaign manager. With expectations growing of an even heavier clampdown on dissent, European politicians have warned Erdogan not to disregard the rule of law.